Welcome back, everybody. It's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. Hello, my friends. Today, I want to make another tag book because I want to use some of my, and I'm showing you here, this is one of my packages that I have in my shop, and it is all kinds of sari borders here. So there's, they're all different widths, and they are pretty long so you can see they really range like this is a thicker one so I've got these in my shop and they're just they're so beautiful I wanted to work with them and I'm having so much fun with my paper dolls so I made a another book and I used my sari fabric to cover the tags you can see I cut some little pieces. These are some of the strips. The paper dolls I made digitally, and I do have a separate video on how I create those using the InShot app. And I kind of did a mixture of doll parts, I'll call them, from Collage Soup and Art House Whimsy. Like this head is Art House Whimsy. So it's kind of a mixture. And both of those places, both of those shops were gracious enough to extend a promo code for me to offer to all of my followers, which is awesome. So please check out the video description because I have information for both of those with the promo codes. I will also, as always, include all the links. I've got my Etsy shop link. And I also have some of the other tutorials that I will be talking about, like my boho beads and other things. So always check out my video description. The link to Collage Soup as well as Art House Whimsy. And she has a whole bunch of huge ebooks. Now this is a physical book, but she has a bunch of ebooks and some of them are 99 cents, some of them are free. They're a lot of fun. I love playing with them and there's all different kinds of themes and I will also link my making my boho beads look at these guys I mean it's kind of crazy once I get started making these I just don't want to stop so these are little pieces that I cut out and put on top this is another separate piece here and I put the flower first page here it says I am silently correcting your your grammar. These are the um, Tim Holtz, what are they called? The snarky quotes. Second page here says I've got it all together, but I forget where I put it. <laughs> and this one, my favorite thing to make for dinner is reservations. So you can see I just, I covered everything with the fabric and then I ended up putting little strips in the on the spine also just to kind of support it. And of course my fuzzy yarn, I love my fuzzy yarn. On this page, I love the blue. She could see no good reason to act her age. So this lady, this is a jello mold. <laughs> and this is an art house whimsy head and I put some glasses on her. And then this guy says, one of us is right, the other one is you. So I covered with fabric and then these are separate pieces from my sorry package that I just cut out and put on here. And then the back one, she is a soda bottle. This one says, relax, we're all crazy. It's not a competition. And then it flips to the center. So here on this side, it says, sorry I'm late, but I didn't want to come. I'm allergic to stupidity. I break out in sarcasm. So she's a vacuum cleaner. And again, I covered with a fabric. Um, and I love using this because it's already embellished. It's just easy and I love all the color. And then these are some extra little pieces that I added and I put strips here. And then we're back to the beginning. So I'm gonna show you how I made this girl. I definitely had a lot of fun making this, and so let's get started. 
So to start off, I'm showing these are the paper dolls and I just printed these out. And I've worked with them before and I preferred them having the black paper behind them. So I'm just going to ink them up and glue them down onto this black cardstock. And then I'm gonna do kind of a rough cut around the edges so that they have a black outline. And this just helps them pop a little bit and become more of a focal point. So I'm just doing a little bit of inking and then I'm going to glue these all down and cut them out. And if you're interested in doing anything like this, it's so much fun. I'm not really into making my own digitals as far as papers and things, but collaging a few elements together and making these dolls, I just think it's so much fun. So that is going to be linked, like I said, in the video description if you're interested in that. And the InShot app, I love. I have no association with the InShot app, but it's definitely the easiest one that's the most user-friendly, I should say, that I have found. So I've got all of my dolls, and I also have these die cuts that are sunglasses. So I'm cutting some of these out in case I want to use them. And then I'm going to move on to making the spine of my book. So this is going to be what I attach the tags to. So this is a piece of Tim Holtz paper and if you guys have used this paper you know it's nice and thick and I am just cutting this down into it's approximately four inches maybe a little less and I'm just kind of making it into strips not really worried too much about how perfect it is. And then I'm going to glue these together so that it's one big long skinny piece. And of course you can do any size that you want, but I like working with larger tags just to have more room. So my tags that I'm using for this book are four by seven, so they're pretty large. And that's why my spine is four inches. So once I have all of this done, I'm gonna grab my tags. I cut some of these out of you can see here this is cardboard i also use some food packaging so i used all different kinds of stuff for my tags but i did cut them out the same size and i'm just roughly seeing how much i want to stick out from the edges of the tag and then i'm just going to start folding my spine down And of course, this is the accordion style, so I'm flipping it back and forth, back and forth when I do my folds. And you don't have to burnish this or anything when you do your folds because you don't want to break down the paper any more than you have to, so I'm just folding it. So here's my spine, and I've got my tags here. So I'm just making my holes in them. I've got all of the parts that I need, so now I can start putting the pages together. I'm just kind of figuring out which, which paper dolls I want to go together, maybe on a page, and picking out two that I want to work with first, and then get my fabric that I want to use. And also for the tags that are the cardboard, I really wanted that texture, you know, the ripples to kind of show up. So I tried using some different inks and it just wasn't quite as dark as I want, wanted it to be. So I ended up using my Distress Crayons and just kind of smearing some on there. And then I just take my finger and smudge it. And then after I do that, I put my fabric on top and it kind of made that pop a little bit more. When I start doing my fabric, I'm just using a couple pieces of double-sided sticky tape just to kind of get the fabric to hold in place. And then I am going around the edges and doing some sewing. 
So you can see here, I already went around the edges, did sewing, and now I'm gonna cut off that excess. And then I wanted something like a little strip that could be a, you know, the ground or something. So that's what I'm going to cut some of these pieces out. Give my dolls something to stand on. And then at, once I have all of these elements down, so I'm gonna put the bottom, I'm gonna put my paper doll down, and then I'm just gonna go around and do some messy sewing to make sure that my doll is down. And that's pretty much how I construct all of the tags. So once I have that part done, then I go back through and I can start to embellish them a little bit more and add all the fun layers. So here you can see I did the messy sewing and I'm just kind of showing a close up of what that looks like. And then moving on to the second tag. Now after I get these finished, then I am going to glue them down onto the spine and show you how I did that. The most important thing when you're doing that is whatever tag you put down first is kind of like your template that you use for all the other tags to line up with. So you wanna make sure that the first tag you put down that you get it nice and straight. Now here you can see I did the sewing around the second one and cut off the excess and then I can start gluing these down onto, onto my spine. So you kind of have to think about what you want to be your cover. And these two kind of go together so I want them to be the page, the first page I guess that flips open. So here I'm kind of, I'm gonna mark just so I know where to put my glue. And then put a generous amount of glue down and I can glue down my first page. And then of course for each of these you need a front and a back. So whatever page goes on the other side of this I will just glue it directly onto the tag. Now you'll see here, I want to make sure that they're lined up perfectly. So I'm just laying the tag that I'm going to glue. I'm laying it down on top of the one that's already glued. And then I'm just going to close that cover. And then I have it nice and my tags are aligned. And then just hold them upright so that they're flush, you know, on, a, on your desk or table, whatever space you're working on. And just kind of make sure that they're flush along the bottom edge.
If you're watching, please comment and let me know which paper doll is your favorite. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And thanks again.